The 2024-25 Jamaica Premier League gets underway on Sunday. And as PFJL CEO Owen Hill explains, a record number of games will be played this season. To the season, I can tell you everybody's excited. Um, the players are ready, the coaches are ready. A lot of systems are being put in place to ensure that we have a successful season. Um, a stark difference, I keep saying it's, it's, it's so important. Um, we will have a number of um, games, way more than what we had last year. So now we're going back to three rounds of football. Um, what that means is more playing time for the players, more minutes on the pitch. Um, at the end of it, we'll still have our playoff, which is the excitement and the anticipated round that everybody wants to see, and that will ultimately determine the champion. Um, but the important element is that once we get more playing time for the boys, then we become um, super competitive in the CONCACAF region. And that's the goal of this whole process, to improve the ecosystem, ensure that the players are better, and you know, ensure that the clubs are stronger as they go forward in the... The entire Jamaica is looking forward to the next Premier League season. Um, the last year's event, trust me, you could see the excitement amongst the crowd. Uh, I remember the finals. People were standing up all over the place to be a part of it. And with the sponsorship of Rear Neville continuing, we are looking forward for an exciting season this year. The organizers have indicated that they are putting several things in place to ensure that the fans of football in Jamaica will enjoy the, the JPL this year. Well, I expect it to be, you know, um, super intense. I expect a lot of people to come out. Our first um, four games, I mean, we have one game that will be stalled a little bit. It's postponed because CONCACAF tournament, again, Cavalier is playing in the CONCACAF tournament. Um, so that game is going to be postponed for a later date. But we have a slate of games. So four games on Sunday, two on Monday. I expect that to be, you know, the, 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 the way that you go forward, a lot of people will be using the opening weekend. And opening weekend means, you know, extravaganza. It's going to be at Tony Spaulding Sports Complex. So we're going to have a double header down there. Um, and then you'll have two other marquee games. First over by Ferdinita, you'll have Portmore United playing against the defending, um, well, the former champions. And they came second last year, which is Mount Pleasant. That's a big one. And then another big one, Veer United, Craig Butler and company, they'll play against Montego Bay United. So I think it's going to be a nice opening weekend. And then on Monday, you have Tivoli and Waterhouse playing in the marquee game on the Monday night.